Yo, what's up everybody? I am Jared Dienda, properly known as the voice of Formula Drift. I've been announcing and been in the car world for 20 plus years, and we are here to talk about some of the best JDM cars you can buy under 10 grand. No, what? Before we jump into all these vehicles, make sure that you know that you can purchase all of your aftermarket parts at throttle.com. Shut up and take my money. It's not just a YouTube page, it's giving you the parts that you need to make sure your car looks and performs the way you want. This is a brand new show here on Throttle, and I have some history with cars. I talk more about them than actually wrench on them. Shamalama ding dong. Some of these are very soft, nice hands. Mickey and the boys get a little dirtier, but not as dirty because they got their Gorilla Gloves. But we're gonna talk about different topics in the automotive world, specifically today, JDM vehicles under 10 grand. Also, you know what, I'm gonna throw it out there. What do you think this show should be called? Go and comment below and share with all your friends. So here we go. Top on the list for me, Nissan 350Z. It's a great car. You see them in the drift world and it's just a dynamic car because every custom plate has to have the letter Z in it. So it doesn't matter if you just have a Z, it has to have the letter Z in the custom plate. Looking at the stats here, 287 horsepower, 274 foot-pounds of torque. That's the original, then you rev it up. 300 horsepower, it's a great car. It's an iconic car. DK from Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift drove one. Why wouldn't you? So. Off the showroom floor, super expensive cars. I mean, what, 35,000, 40? I mean, if you option that thing out, that is almost $40,000 for this naturally aspirated VQ engine. But now, under 10 grand, you can find them. You want it under 90,000 miles to make sure it's reliable. And again, you gotta think, this is a drift vehicle. This is a road race vehicle. Got that VQ engine. You can do so many things to it, aesthetically and performance-wise. Also, you gotta think about engine options, right? You can modify that thing. You can keep that VQ in there. You could go LS, because you could just buy a shell like TJ, and he's got 370 and a 350. So, I mean, there's so many different things. Even Chris Forsberg, three-time Formula Drift champion, put an SR in it. Talk about going backwards. But he did take it to the top of the podium. Also, known issues. Making sure it runs up to snuff. <laughs> oil consumption and oil cooling problems. So you have to take that into account. Next on the list, Honda S2000, another iconic Fast and Furious vehicle. Doesn't need to be pink, doesn't need to have some anime on the side of it, but you can do your own graphics. I love this car. If I had to get another Honda, how sick is that thing? I am a Honda guy. I grew up racing here in San Diego. Street racing, I do not condone it, but it is part of my DNA. This is my DNA. They made the movie Fast and Furious about what me and my people were doing if it's all across Southern California, up in LA or down here in San Diego. At one point, this had the lowest center of gravity in the engine as far as the crankshaft goes. The Toyota 86 then superseded it by even lower, right? Lower center of gravity, road racing. The dudes that are our corner workers in white, they traditionally drive these cars. There's a reason for that. Lower center of gravity, good around the corners, good drivability, and one of the highest revving engines. Hey, rev out. I don't really know what rev out means, to be honest with you. Like. So the Honda S2000, 237 horsepower, of course got the iconic VTEC, variable valve timing electronic control. From 2004 to 2009, 240 horsepower. So man, jumped it up three horsepower, a whole three horsepower. I think it had the highest horsepower per liter of any engine at the time. Sabrina, TJ, they owned one. There she blows in the third. FD drivers, oh man, FD drivers. We had Tyler McCory drive it at one time, and prior to that, Alex Pfeiffer, the infamous Hawaiian driver that owns Battle Version, he drove one, and he drove it really well until he took it into the wall at Irwindale. So a ton of aftermarket parts in the S2000 world. I bet you he's got more than 100 grand under the hood of that car. Uh-huh. I mean, from hard tops, cool aesthetic, I mean, body kits, the Sea West kit is always cool. Um, I mean, you've seen them Juan Gon style, you know, the, the spoon, of course. I'd love to see one just like fully restored and awesome. I mean, even the dogs are excited about it. They're barking over there. So the question is, do the throttle guys here at Throttle Headquarters, do they build an S2K? Or are they way too old to even own one? Get out of here. I'm out. Oh. Oh. Do you guys want to win one? Like, what are your thoughts on the iconic S2K? Next car, the WRX. Icon in the rally world, so you know it can handle the dirt. Then it becomes like a road race car. I mean, that car didn't exist here in the States. The Gran Turismo effect, as I like to call it. I know I remember choosing that and the Evo as vehicles that you could drive because we didn't see them here. We only saw those RS versions. 
Then the WRX comes to the States, turbo off the showroom floor, very capable. Then the SCI comes and just gets better and better as time goes on. I had one of these, I had an 03 WRX wagon. I'm a huge wagon guy. Sounds like the Jetson Mobile, right? What did I have on? I had a Tanabe exhaust, ProDrive springs, of course put the STI hood scoop on it, Rimlight 57 Pros, the Bug Eye, the Roundhead. I, I love that car. Such a fun car to drive. And you could go on the dirt, you can go on the road, you can slam it. I mean, just so many different options. This is like the Leatherman of the car world. We saw the Throttle Boys build one and somebody is going to win that or already won it. I don't even know. All right, so our winner is Luke Som. He bought a uh, Remark. Subaru STI. Yeah. He bought, he must have a Subaru. Give me the keys. That thing is a hot rod. I'll take mine. Under 10K, 04 to 07. The Blob IWRX, um, you know, 100,000 miles or less. When you start to get, you know, above 100,000 miles, you really gotta know what you're doing, especially with the EJs. I absolutely love Subarus. I announced Rallycross, so I saw them in competition. My boy Bucky Lassick behind the wheel and many other drivers, but I have a special place in my heart for the Fuji Heavy Industry, AKA the Subaru vehicle. Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. The GSX, really great car. If they're not X, they're front wheel drive, and that's pretty much like a car. It's the all wheel drive version, absolute hot rod. Iconic engine, the 4G63. First gen, 195 horsepower. Second gen, third gen, let's just not even talk about it. I mean, that was just a very, very unique. I'm being nice here. I'm a dad. I don't want to bash anybody. That was not, not a great car. You know, they had the Eagle Talon also in that first gen. And then I believe, yeah, into the second gen as well. So that's a cool car. You don't see many of them on the road. I mean, the throttle guys were wacky enough to do that 3000 GT. I don't know why they didn't do an Eclipse. What do you think? Should they build an Eclipse GSX? Again, they're dealing with the Evo. They're dealing with the same engine. Why not, right? So the GSX, it was kind of the predecessor to the Evo, especially here in the States, because we didn't get the Evo till later on. So it's cool to see the 4G63T in different vehicles. What do you think of Eclipses? And did that brand, the Eclipse brand died, right? I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> Next car, the Mazda Miata. And jokingly, the hairdresser car, but I mean, you know, we got Mad Mike's Fender back there. Mad Mike builds the Rad Bull. That thing's seen different iterations of different engine setups, and they are capable vehicles. Back to the corner workers, the dudes and gals and people that work at tracks, dressed in white, waving the flags, making sure you're safe. This is a very popular car in the autocross world. There's a reason for that. You know, it's all about balance. We have seen them in the drifting world, but it's a great road race car. They look good. Many different options, either JDM, USDM, road race, drifting, really, really fun, cool cars. I can't fit in one personally, but I still think they're damn cool. And again, Mad Mike's wife, Tony, she even has one as well. Would you like to see a Miata built here at Throttle? What engine would you put in the Miata? Would you keep it that factory engine? Would you go LS? We've seen many different things, even like Ford, five liters back in the day. The old Godzilla Miatas, they're built here in San Diego. I remember seeing those back in the day, right around the corner from Stone Brewing Company. But Miatas, you gotta look at them horsepower wise. A feverish, whoo, 115 horsepower out of the gate, 110 foot pounds of torque and that 89.97. And you gotta think that was the pop-up headlights. I'm out on those. I'm not a pop-up headlight guy, except the OG NSX, that's probably my only one, even like 180SX is not a big fan of the pop of headlights. I'd rather go to like Zanke or Kuki's. What do you think, pop of headlights or the newer headlights, which I think looks slick. Moving on to our last vehicle, the Acura RSX. The RSX, it was even called the Integra in Japan. I think it's a bit of a forgotten car here in the States. You know, it was, it was the predecessor to the Integra. Don't know why they changed the name. They just had such a, a good running story there, right? They're iconic and for me, I've always wanted to own an Integra Type R 96 championship white, and one of those will go across the block at some auction at some point in time. Will the RSX? Probably not. It's just kind of an interesting car. K20, 160 horsepower. The Type S had 200 horsepower. An RSX is a great option for you first time car buyers out there. You want to get in the JDM world? Under 10 grand, many different options. RSX, Mazda Miata, Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX, WRX, Honda S2000, and the Nissan 350Z. This is just my opinion. What is yours? Did I forget a vehicle under 10 grand? Remember, go to throttle.com for all your parts needs. Yo, I'm Jared Dienda, and we are here to talk about the TJ me up. I am Jared Dienda, and we're here to talk.
Do you like editing or do you just like run cut? Because you're cut, you're chopping up anyways. You chop that and <laughs> chopped and screwed. He drove one and he drove it really well until he took it into the wall at Irwindale. R.I.P. Uh, sorry, Alex didn't die. The, ca the, the car, the Alex, Alex didn't die. <laughs> the car, the car ended up living on another day. <laughs> Are the infamous VTEC variable valve timing, easy for me to say, variable valve timing electronic control and weak transfer cases, but you can make it stronger. Go to throttle.com and buy the parts to make your engine stronger. Pew! Well, thank you so much for washing. You made it all the way to oh, washing. Washing. Thanks for washing your hands. Appreciate it. Stay clean, stay safe, and wipe. All right. <laughs>